Hello YouTube, welcome to a new Synth Anatomy video. The developer of Audiobus released today version 3 of Audiobus, with many new features and improvements. In this video I give you an overview of all new features. If you are a regular user of Audiobus version 2, you know this classical interface with the input slot where you can load in sound generator apps like synthesizers or pianos. Then the effect slot where you can load in your favorite effect iOS apps and the output with for example your audio recorder app. With the release of this new version, Audiobus now supports on the audio page also audio units. Just press the plus button and you can now see on the selected input page the audio unit menu. I will load now very quick for you an audio unit synthesizer in this input slot and show you another new feature of Audiobus. I will take here Wave Generator from Wolfgang Palm and open it inside Audiobus. You see now that Audiobus loads directly the audio unit, but what is also new is the virtual MIDI keyboard. Each time when you load now an audio unit instrument, Audiobus will load directly a virtual MIDI keyboard where you can play directly with your instrument. This keyboard includes buttons for hold, octave up and down. Same for the effect slots, also this part of the audio slot support now audio units. You can now load in your favorite iOS audio unit effect apps inside Audiobus and combine them with other non-audio unit apps. On the top right you have also the preset manager system again, best known from the previous Audiobus versions. All your presets from Audiobus 2 will import it directly in this new version. The biggest new features of this new version you can find on the left and the right side of the GUI. I begin with the left side, where you can find the new MIDI page. Audiobus comes finally with full MIDI support and includes three different MIDI slots. With the MIDI input slot you get now the possibility to work with external MIDI controllers and with internal MIDI controller apps in the same time. For this demo I connected my Arturia MIDI Lab MK2 keyboard via the camera connection kit to my iPad. When you connect the keyboard, Audiobus shows you this external MIDI connection in a MIDI input slot. Here you can also change the MIDI routings of your keyboard. Just press on the right side and you can change the MIDI channels. If you prefer to work with internal MIDI controller apps like sequencers and keyboards, this is no problem for Audiobus version 3. During the release of this new version, several new MIDI apps will be released and some older ones got a nice MIDI update. For example, Fugu Machine got a massive MIDI update which allows to use now 4 playheads individual with different MIDI channels. I will load now Fugu Machine with playhead number 1 in my MIDI input slot. Then you have in the middle the new MIDI effects. There are several new apps released now during the official release of Audiobus 3. And these are MIDI Flow Limiter, allows you to limit note velocities. MIDI Flow Monitor is a MIDI monitoring app. With MIDI Flow Randomizer you can randomize notes, velocities and timings. MIDI Flow Scales remap notes to a different scale. MIDI Flow Splitter allows to split your MIDI keyboard. And MIDI Flow Transposer is a MIDI note transposer for the Audiobus system. For this demo I don't use any of these apps, but I continue with the MIDI output slot. Quick remember, inside our MIDI input slot is play number 1 of Fugu Machine. And this MIDI signal requires now a MIDI receiver. In a MIDI receiver you can load in any kind of apps or audio units which receive MIDI signals. For this quick demo I take again the PPG Wave Generator Synthesizer. When this connection is done, you will see another great feature of this new version of Audiobus. Every time you load an app inside the MIDI receiver slot, a new audio pipeline opens directly in the audio page. You can now move to Fugu Machine and start your sequence. Fugu Machine will send now the MIDI sequence to the Wave Generator audio unit. Another cool feature is that you can layer multiple apps or audio units together and route the same MIDI signal to them. I will load now the Wave Mapper Synthesizer in the same MIDI pipeline of the Wave Generator Synthesizer. Both apps will receive now the same MIDI sequence and this allows you to create instant new sounds just with a MIDI layer. This layering works with multiple apps but it depends on your power of your iPad or iPhone. Audiobus version 3 allows to use multiple controllers, app or hardware for one single app. I will add now my external controller to the existing MIDI pipeline. Just press the plus button 
and select your additional MIDI device. Now you have the MIDI sequence of Fugu Machine and the external MIDI signal which goes both to the Wave Generator app. I'll show you now very quick how you can use 4 playheads of Fugu Machine with 4 different synthesizers. I will not talk here, but I will show you how quick you can set up this. We have now 4 playheads of Fugu Machine with 4 different synthesizers. This setup is very powerful, but we have one major problem, the sounds. I don't want to mix everything at the same level together. With the new version of Audioboss, there is a really nice feature which simplifies this workflow. It includes on the right side a complete audio mixer. Each time you insert a new audio app, a new track on the mixer will be available. Each audio track inside the mixer includes a volume fader, a panning knob, a mute button and a solo button. Also it includes a note button which sends a MIDI note to your app. This enables to checking the sound level of the instrument app per example. Coming back to your 4 MIDI track patch. If you want some more complex stuff, you can also add new MIDI effects or some audio effects in the audio page. I will add now some audio effects to this track and then I will show the result of this big 4 play at Fugu Machine patch. On the top of the new GUI you can find the settings of Audioboss. Here you find also one very important new feature. The new version of Audioboss supports now Ableton Link, which is permit to sync everything together very easy. Then you have the latency control and some other settings. I hope I cover for you in this video the most interesting new features of Audioboss. This new version is available now and it's a new app. It's not an app update for Audioboss 2 but you must purchase this one if you want to benefit from these new features. The full MIDI and audio unit support, the complete new range of MIDI apps and the audio mixer are fantastic new skills of this new version. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please write me in comments below 
What do you think about Audibus 3? I will release another video about Audibus 3 where I will give you a short overview of the MIDI Flow keyboard app. If you like this overview video, please leave a positive thumb and a subscription for more future videos. Your subscription costs nothing new, but it's a big support for my work. Many thanks for watching this video and for your continued support. I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Bye!